sad. Sí, este, estoy triste porque, uh, pues yo tengo, tengo, este, tengo lupus. She has lupus. Oh, tengo, how long has she has lupus? ¿Cuánto tiempo? Pues no sé, pero a mí me dijeron como el 2019. Uh, she said she's not aware of how long she's had it for, but she was diagnosed in 2019. Okay, and does she take steroids? ¿Y tomas esteroides? Oh, good. Me aguanto siempre con los dolores y todo. And she says that she's always um, holding off even if she's feeling pain. Okay, how about her kidney function? ¿Cómo está la función de tu no sé nada. ¿Vale? No sé nada. Uh, she's not aware of how her condition is. ¿No te haces exámenes de sangre? Nada. No, she doesn't, she hasn't had any blood. No, blood. bueno. You need to get that checked right now. Dice, We can check it. Dice que es muy importante que cheques eso. Pero, pero de, de viga lo dijo? Sí. Creo que dijeron que estaba hasta ahorita bien. No, digo, el de los riñones. Ah, oh, no sé. Okay. Pero no tengo ningún problema. No, but what lupus does is it can cause uh, kidney disease if you have it for a long time and not treated. Dice que lo que no, es, eh, lo que pasa con lupus es que si llevas mucho tiempo con él y no te lo estás tratando como debe de ser, con el tiempo daña tus um, riñones. Ok. So it's just important to check it. So That's all. Es Nothing bad, bad, but it's just important to check it. Sí, sí, lo entiendo. Sí lo entiendo, pero también quiero como lo que no entiendas. ¿Sí me entiendes? Sí. Lo que no me afecta, por ejemplo, este, como tengo lo de um, osteoporosis y la artritis y todo eso con la operación, como yo sé que me voy a descalcificar, no me pa ¿qué es lo que pasa? Yo quiero saber eso. So she's saying that she has um, osteoporosis mm -hmm. and she also has, um, ¿cuál era la otra cosa? Que artritis. Uh, arthritis and with the uh, weight loss, is that going to um, make any of the difference? Yeah. So the, her arthritis will get better because immediately she's going to be carrying less weight. So when she weighs 140 pounds, her joints and everything will feel better. Okay. So en la artritis dice que te va a mejorar porque ya no vas a tener tanto sobrepeso que es lo que está causando que tengas mucho dolor con la artritis. Y el osteoporosis. And the osteoporosis, as long as you take calcium, it shouldn't get any worse. El osteoporosis dice que con que tomes suficiente calcio no debería de empeorar, al contrario debería de. Y el cabello. And then losing hair, you have to eat protein so you don't lose hair. Para evitar la caída del pelo tienes que uh, consumir suficiente proteína porque so si no si se Chicken, te... fish, meat, uh, uh, beans. Puedes comer frijoles, carne, pollo, todo lo que tenga alto contenido en proteína. Y y cómo me cómo me voy a controlar de no bajar yo porque te quitan el 80% del estómago, ¿verdad? En realidad casi el 50%. Ajá, uh -huh. sí. Porque yo nada más quiero pues así en 50. What's going on? She's asking that she doesn't want to lose more than what she wants to. She just wants to get down to 150, and she's like, oh, if they're removing 80% of my stomach, how much? No, we only remove half. Yeah, I just told her it's 50%. Okay. Um, Lo que me tiene más preocupada es como la problema, el problema de la descalcificación. Es lo que me tiene más preocupada. Uh, the thing that's concerning for her the most is like uh, losing like bone density. Y los dientes y, lo, y el cabello. No. No, es lo que estoy más... you're going to be healthier and your bone density should improve as long as you take calcium. Okay. 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 So, uh, do you want to go through it? Uh, the beginning, it's a uh, 30 minute surgery. So, la cirugía solo dura 30 minutos. Uh -huh. uh, it's outpatient, so most people have surgery on Thursday, go home Thursday, you can drive on Friday, and go back to work Monday. Yes, I need it. Okay, so do you understand me a little bit? I understand a most, a lot. Okay. okay. But the concern about my lupus and oh, see. I need to no be worries. clear yeah. and understand, I don't want to go to my house and say, oh, I forgot to ask this. No, no, or I don't no. Okay. understand. So the surgery is safe, but there is some real risk and danger for three weeks after surgery. Okay. What's dangerous is the stomach is a balloon the size of your hand, and we make it half that size. We make it the size of a large banana. When we do that, the stomach is cut and sewn up with stitches. 
it takes three weeks for your stomach to heal. So for three weeks, you have to be on a liquid diet. Okay. Soup, protein drinks, water, Gatorade. We give a list of liquids. You have to stick to it. The danger is, let's say a week after surgery, you feel good. You're at work. Everything's normal. And somebody brings in little Chick-fil-A nuggets and you eat a chicken nugget. It'll go down into your stomach, but right after surgery, the stomach is still swollen and it can't stretch that good. It'll try to stretch and what happens is it'll break a stitch. Okay. Okay. If that happens, out leak stomach juices and little bits of chewed up chicken pieces and that causes a bad infection inside of you. Okay. And so then you have to go back to the hospital and that's how people end up with drainage tubes, feeding tubes, and you can be in the hospital for one month. Okay. So it's very dangerous, muy peligroso. So the way to avoid that is I like to see you every week after surgery, either on FaceTime or in the office. Okay. And make sure you're doing good. Okay. And just encourage you to stick to the liquids because the little tiny cuts on your tummy Mm -hmm. They're gonna heal right away. Okay. But the cut on the inside mm -hmm. takes three weeks to heal. Okay. So after three weeks of liquids, then you can start eating soft food like um, eggs, fish, mashed potatoes. And we give you a list. Week one, eat this. Week two, eat this. As long as you stick to the list, you're mm -hmm. safe. Okay. Okay? Okay. Six weeks after surgery, you're completely healed and you can eat a regular diet. You'll lose about eight to 10 pounds a month okay. and about 50 to 60 pounds in about you know seven to eight months. And what about after that? So it is just stops, okay? So uh, your weight will go from here to here like that and just stop. Now, the surgery is the easy part of everything. The surgery does a good job in that automatically burns up your fat but surgery does a bad thing and it automatically burns up your muscle too. You don't want to lose any muscle, okay? Do you understand what I'm saying? So uh, muscle is your fountain of youth, okay? Mm -hmm. Muscle is what makes you strong. Mm -hmm. Muscle is what supports your skin. It's what makes you pretty. Without muscle, you'll be like all sunken in and sickly looking. Yeah, I don't want to be like that. So be. there's three things you have to do to stay healthy. Number one is you have to eat protein every day. Okay. So chicken, fish, meat, beans, broccoli, eggs. So normally when people talk about losing weight, they count calories mm -hmm. and they try to eat less. Mm -hmm. With the sleeve, you count protein and you try to eat more. The more protein you eat, the more muscle you'll have and the more fat you'll burn. If you don't eat protein, that's when you get a lot of loose skin. You lose your hair because hair is just pure protein. Um, and it's just a bad result. So as long as you eat protein, you'll be good. Number two, you have to use your muscles or you're going to lose them. So the best thing is walking. If you can walk 30 minutes every day, that's perfect. Okay. By using your muscles and eating protein, you can keep the muscles you have right now and the surgery can just get rid of the fat. The last thing is the whole bottom half of your stomach, the bottom half is an important area. It helps your body absorb iron, calcium, vitamin B12. After surgery, you only have half of that stomach to help you absorb those things. So besides eating lots of vegetables like salads or spinach, Take a daily vitamin that has iron, calcium, okay? Okay. Uh, what we like to do is we'll check your blood every six months after surgery to make sure all your vitamin levels are normal and make sure you're not anemic. Okay. So follow up and seeing me regular is super important, okay? Okay. So as long as you eat enough protein, you work out or walk a little bit, you take your daily vitamins, in eight months, you should be a nice, curvy, muscular, 140-pound girl. If you have this surgery and you move away, you never see me again, and you just eat Cheetos, then you're going to lose all your muscle, you'll lose your hair, and you'll just end up a gross stick.
Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Okay. So that's it. Um, so is it an insurance case? Yes, sir. Uh, she said she's going to pay. Oh, okay. No, so, I don't have an insurance, but I'm going to see I can qualify for the financing? financial. In case not, I, I can do, I don't know. I can yeah, do. we'll talk to Yannette. She'll help okay. you. Yes. Do you have any more questions? Yes, uh, basically it's is, is that. Uh, okay. The lupus and, and that can, it's not going to, no me va como a, a, es mejor que la haga porque tengo todo eso de lupus y todo eso. So she's suggesting, as she's asking if um, with her condition of lupus, would it be more appropriate for her to have surgery than to not have it? No, it's important to get it because once you lose weight, you'll be healthier and then you can deal with lupus better, okay? Okay. Does that make sense? Does, do you, do, can you explain that? Dice que es mejor que te la hagas la cirugía porque um, perdiendo el peso y todo, eh, vas a poder, este, se te van a quitar mucho de las enfermedades que tienes yeah because if you keep getting bigger you're going to get diabetes high blood pressure mm -hmm. all these problems so it's better to be strong so you can deal with lupus better okay 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 all right come on out and we'll talk to you next okay. oh.